Hello everybody and welcome to Race the Sun. This is an indie racing game kind of thing that has an interesting little twist to it. Which is pretty obvious in the title. I mean, you're racing the sun, right? So what does that entail? Well, we get to find out as we go along. Let me just see here, that looks wonderful. Let's go ahead and play a single race. Steer your solar craft towards the sunset. Avoid shadows and darkness and maximize points. First things first, this game gets intense really fast. I remember originally getting this game uh, probably about a year ago? or so? Or was it only this past summer? It may have actually only been this past summer. I do not remember. But essentially, the higher your score is, the faster you go. Um, not your score, your uh, multiplier, which is not something that we've come across yet. Because we've started bare bones, pretty much. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple, right? I mean, kind of a general racing concept. You don't want to crash into anything. And we want to race the sun, which is slowly going down. So this game, every level is procedurally generated. Um, every region, I should say. However, it has a little twist on it, because it doesn't actually procedurally generate every single time you play, it generates it every day. Oh boy. And we are running out of sunlight here. Oh, that's not good. And I goofed and hit something, so now I'm going way slower than I originally was, and that's a car or something. And our solar energy is depleted, and as that happens... This is actually the first time this has ever happened to me. The sun went down and you ran out of solar energy. So we have a new high score of 21,000, that's frickin' awesome. On the right, we have different levels that we can get, and in order to get the next level, we have to get each of these two things right over here, or each of these three things. Um, we don't actually need to complete all these in order to get the level, what we need to do is we have these three little dots up here. We need to fill these. So every time we accomplish one of these challenges, that gives us a point in here, and when we reach all three, that gives us a level. And I think depending on which of these you get, that kind of cleans it up for you, but I don't know. It's been a long time since I played, and there's a lot that I don't remember. Especially early on, because I was pretty far ahead in this game. Um, and as we'll see as we go through, as we gain levels and increase our progress in the game, we'll begin to unlock some stuff. Um, this game has that kind of an element to it. And along with unlocking um, different kinds of races that we can do, many of which involve racing the sun, um, we'll also get power-ups and things like that. One of the first things we'll require, though, is a score multiplier. Whoa. There's the game physics for you. Oh my. Where? Who? What? I have no idea where that stuff was. So of course, in a game like this, the uh, the speed comes into mind. We are traveling so fast that oh, 
We are traveling so fast that it actually requires a certain amount of physics involvement to change direction when we start to st start turning. Hence the flippy flip. Whoa. Oh, that's new. Didn't quite get as far as we did the last time. That's unfortunate. So yeah, as I explained earlier, these are our tasks on the right side. Complete them to upgrade yourself and unlock new abilities. We hope you enjoy your race against the inevitable. Okie dokie. Energy pickup. Touch this to momentarily reverse time and extend the fading daylight. Okay, so that's the first thing we get. Knowledge. You are solar powered. Stay in the light to maintain your pace. Shadows will slow you down. Very cool. Alright, so clear one region in a round. Collect ten tries in one region. The tries are the little triangle circle things. You know, Illuminati and all that crap. Alright. Off we go! Alright, so now that we've unlocked the one... the power up, they'll start to appear on the maps. And it does exactly as it said. It reverses time for just a little bit. And when it comes to those, it's it's kind of a question whether you want to go for these, or if you want to go for a huge row of tries. Personally, I like going for the time extenders, because that way we can race longer, and it doesn't really matter about the tries, as long as we keep moving, we will continue to increase our score. Oh, I used to be so good at that, I suck at it now. Okay, unfortunately we got a try out of that, but we did pick up a lot of daylight extenders, so... Let's get it going. How on earth would you get up there? Ooh. Okay, so we may actually be able to get through this region now that we've um, hit four of those daylight extenders, I think? Some crazy large number. Oh, I screwed that up. That's okay, though. And we just beat our all-time best. Mm. Excuse me, traffic. So I really have to wonder, why are we racing the sun? Hey, is there some sort of experience that we're trying to get here? Alright, and here it begins to get intense. Because all of a sudden the world is collapsing! <laughs> fine. Oh, we haven't unlocked this yet. Oh, shit. Hello, box. Hello, box. Goodbye, box. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. Oh, too many close calls. Too many close calls. Oh boy! Oh, I went the wrong way on that one. Oh man. Alright, now we've unlocked the score multiplier. So we collect five tries to increase our multiplier, which will increase our score. Any collision will reduce your multiplier. It does not mean that will reduce your multiplier, it means that it will reset your multiplier. So if you have times 10 multiplier, it will reset it to your base. Knowledge. Tries of the blue pyramid shapes. Collect them to gain points. We know that points are what you really want out of life. Totally. Alright. So there are a few other things about this game that are actually really cool. Um... We can also create 
user worlds, we have a level editor that's actually built into the game. Um, and if you, one of the things you can do is actually sign in um, to the online portion of this game. And if you do that, you can actually play co-op with friends, you can do um, a bunch of leaderboard stuff, just crazy things. Um, this has an entire online community that is really quite cool and the interactions that go around that so I highly recommend you guys pick this game up so yeah and I will see you guys in the next video this is probably gonna be showing up on the channel from time to time again because this game is really enjoyable and really fun um, but it's essentially a roguelike, so it's race as far as you can. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, and bye for now.